will learn to fight. I will learn to fly. Fly. I will learn to kill. I don't learn to die. Killer Queen Black is quite possibly the most pleasant surprise that I've had this year of something that I wasn't necessarily anticipating, but I would always see the silhouette of the uh, Queen Bee or whatever the hell that's supposed to be on the, yeah, Bee, that's what they are, on the eShop page, as I would always scroll through and they would show in the upcoming games. Um, but I had no idea what the game was really about. I just you know I've heard of it because I would constantly again see the artwork, the uh, cover art of it over and over and over again. And I finally got to sit down and try it out because it's been something I've been wanting to uh, try. So I went ahead and did it on PC, which I believe uh, it's free on Discord for Discord Nitro users at the moment. So definitely worth checking out uh, for sure. I can tell you that right off the bat. Uh, the first thing that really got me excited when I fired it up was that you're greeted with a really cool uh, theme song on the menu. And it actually is some pretty legit sounding uh, heavy metal as opposed to typical butt rock that you hear in um, a lot of video games, uh, especially for menu music. But it was like genuinely cool and well written metal music stuff that's actually reminiscent of stuff I actually listen to, which is really, really cool. Very seldom do I hear that style of metal um, in a game, unless of course it's like, you know, some Guilty Gear, something like that. But anyways, I went into this absolutely uh, blind and didn't know anything about the game. Didn't even know what kind of game type it was really. I just, again, they did a good job with marketing because just seeing the cover art of that made me curious and made me want to check it out. Um, but even hearing from some people that it was a decent game, I still didn't know what it's like. It's essentially a online multiplayer sports-like? Is this a new genre we're going towards? Probably not new. Uh, we have uh, wind jammers and stuff like that that are uh, obviously sports games but have um, more elements and more uh, complexity than your average uh, regular sports game. But um, basically, it's uh, yeah, you, you score the points, and uh, there's several ways to score goals, and then you win or lose, depending on what side you're on. Um, but basically, there's a few different ways to play. So you're either a queen bee or a worker bee. The cool thing is if you have no real preference, you can put that in there, and it'll assign you accordingly. And uh, But basically, there's three ways to win. If the queen is killed, uh, or if the queens kill each other, so whatever queen gets killed three times, uh, you get a military victory that way. Uh, there's an economic victory, which is when you collect the uh, berries, and you'll see slots in the footage here of the um, berries, and you put them in those slots, and uh, if you fill all the ones in your home base, you win. Or, my favorite one, which you'll see me abuse a lot and try to get in this footage, is the snail victory, where you just... That snail you see right there in the middle that starts there, you can try to ride that snail, and if you can get it through your goal, you win. Um, so it's really cool. Uh, as simple as that is, it's, it, it, there's a lot of strategy and um, fun that can come with it, you know. Uh, the worker bees can take berries, go into those gates that you see around the map, and go inside and transform into like a fighting type, or uh, there are a few types of the worker uh, bees can become and it's really cool, but once you become that type you got to be careful because now you can't uh, Get gather berries or, or to score goals that way or ride the snail anymore I believe so your goal at that point becomes to defend uh, The other workers who are trying to win one of those methods or defend the queen of course um, It's it's a lot of fun. I, I'm probably most definitely actually I am going to pick it up for uh, Switch because it's a really cool game that I could throw a few rounds down on uh, even if I'm on the go at work, uh, what have you, and uh, maybe get a few friends to get it because it is a really, really cool game. Again, uh, there's a lot of games that I really like and anticipated this year, but this one was a pleasant surprise because, again, other than seeing that artwork on the, uh, that cover art, I had no idea what it was. And the game is way different than what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be another roguelike game or another um, a platformer, you know, because of the uh, kind of retro pixel, is that fair to say, pixel style uh, graphics. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it, it's a great game. Uh, let's see if I'm forgetting anything else that I do want to talk about it. No, as far as I know. Oh, right, if you're riding a snail and then someone tries to get on the snail, um, it'll eat them, which is, which is really cool. I like seeing that. Um, but yeah, the game's really quick to learn. I mean, I went in completely blind and uh, learned the mechanics of the game on the fly. Uh, unfortunately for the people that I was 
match made with in the beginning when I didn't know how to play at all. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but after I started getting hang of it, it's really quick to learn the mechanics and, uh, you know, and still fun and challenging to get good at the game. So, it's again, you got to play smart, you got to use some strategies, and it's very much is a sports game, and I had a lot of fun with it. It's $20 on eShop and uh, PC uh, through Steam at the moment, with an Xbox version coming soon, but isn't released yet. But again, $20, absolutely worth it. Definitely pick it up, Killer Queen Black. One of the most pleasant surprises I've had all year.